Hey everybody, welcome back to Scandalous Bob. Got on last night, decided to play some Modern Warfare 3. My buddy Mayhem was on. He was playing with his friends Pseudo Slick and Sticky Melon. So I jumped in. They were playing some Kill Confirmed. And let me tell you, Mayhem was hot. He was hot like all night. So it was pretty awesome. He was leading the room uh, most of the time. Uh, so I got to give him some credit. He was uh, doing some mad crazy things with a uh, knife. Running that Type 95. Um, so we got in here on Fallen. And um, I decided to run the G36C. Um, I was running a support class, uh, support strike class, and uh, things seemed to work out. So we played uh, we played a bunch of games last night. Uh, I don't know, must have played about three four hours, and uh, finished it out with uh, Ground War. And uh, I'll try to throw that one on later. But I mean, we had I think it was eight people in the party. So we used to always refer to. Uh, Ground War is big lag, because uh, you get so many people in there, and it's just bound to be laggy, 18 people. Uh, anyways, um, had some really good matches. Um, as the night went on, I didn't play as well as I did, you know, definitely in the beginning, but it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, because uh, we were winning, uh, doing team effort type stuff, uh, and, you know, and I can I can take that. Uh, Mayhem and I used to get on uh, Black Ops. And uh, we'd play drive-in, we'd play hazard, and we were just running things. Um, those were two of my favorite maps. Um, and sadly enough, it, they really didn't come out towards the end of uh, Black Ops. And it was kind of neat, too, because they had it to where you could just pick those maps when they first came out. And then they went through and they changed it. And uh, you could pick that DLC, but you couldn't pick the DLC just for the maps. Um, so, you know, you go in, you pick the DLC, um, and by that I mean, you know, that map pack, and then it was a, uh, a random set of the game, so I was, uh, playing a lot of just regular team deathmatch, and when they changed it, you played everything, search and destroy, you played demolition, you played domination, you played hardcore this, and blah, 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 and I was like, why would you do that, but anyways, so we got on here, and I, I started off really strong, um, so I was, you know, definitely happy with that. Um, and, well, I finished out pretty strong, too, but what I decided to run was a ballistic vest. Then I had um, the SAM turret, and then I ran the EMP. And the reason I chose the EMP is I, I, I've gotten the escort airdrop a couple of times, but I usually get it towards the end of the match. So I said, you know what, let me run the EMP, because I've had a couple of matches where... Um, guys will throw that EMP just as I'm throwing out like a care package and it uh, gets rid of the aircraft coming in so I thought well if I can get it at the end of the match then hopefully that'll stop them from throwing you know UAVs you know running a strafe you know anything that might change the balance of the game right towards the end and uh, I think it helped out here anyways but uh, like I said Mayhem and I used to get on we, we played a lot of black ops um, one of my favorite gameplays and maps was uh, domination on Berlin and what I used to do is um, on Berlin there was a break in the wall and that's where point B was and uh, so I put on the flak jacket pro um, sometimes I would use the stoner uh, other times I'd use like the moss and uh, so what I would do is I would lay there at B and um, you know just sit there and just lay into them and the flak jacket would help keep me protected from uh, grenades it helped keep me protected from uh, the napalm strikes if you had you know the pro and I, I think on one match I went something like 52 and 20 so you know I was definitely happy with that map so you know it 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 got to be where you randomly played it and uh you know that was a little frustrating because I, I really liked it when you could pick a particular map pack because you know you get familiar with it you know the ins and outs and if you liked a particular gameplay you could just play those maps and it was a it was an easy way to quickly learn those maps so um i don't know if i've, I've said it before but um each map as you play it um there's different little spots that people go um there's different spots that people gravitate to based on um, the match you're playing. So when you play kill confirmed, everybody's kind of got to get out, and move around a little bit, or you know they can sit in particular corners. But you, you win by getting all the dog tags. Now, if you play this on, on say, uh, search and destroy, it's going to be completely different because you've got you know two bomb sites. Um, 
people have a tendency to camp more because you have, you know, one life. And speaking of camping, you know, there's a big debate. And I remember when I first started playing Modern Warfare 2, I hated campers. Um, I started watching some some videos, a guy named Chris Smoove, and uh, he had kind of a theory on it, and, not, and I agree, and that is, um, or he had a philosophy on it. What is camping? Well, camping is, is pretty much where you take up a defensive point. And generally, it's going to be in one of the best places, you know, on the map. And uh, Modern Warfare 2, they used to call them the nuke rooms. Because you could sit there and pretty much stay the whole match without dying and get like 25 kills. So, <clears throat> people would get mad because they wanted to be in that spot. You know, and, and there's best spots on the map, you know, these nuke rooms. And, and so, people would get mad because you're in their spot and they want to get you out of it so they can get in it. You know, if, if you look at actual battle tactics, you know, that there's aggressors and there's defenders, you know. And if you're a defender, you set up an ambush um, and you wait for somebody to come into your kill zone and then you spring your trap. So, you know, it can be frustrating when you're playing a particular type of game, uh, let's say kill confirm like this, and, you know, there's six guys on each team and you got five snipers. Well, that doesn't help out a whole bunch. You know, if you're playing domination and you've got to capture points, then five snipers on the team isn't going to, you know, help for the gameplay. Now, I do agree that I paid the same amount of money, I think, that everybody else did for their game. So, if I want to spin around in a circle and just shoot up in the air and pretend I'm a duck hunter, you know, then I, I guess I can. And uh, I, I will agree, though, that, you know, that, that type of playing... Come on now, really? You're playing an online game, so if you want to do that, go do that with your buddies in a, in a private match. And uh, enough said about that. But I want to give uh, give some credit out there to Sudo Slick, who uh, his wife Sticky Melons was on, and uh, it was a blast. Um, I don't think any of us were were cursing. Uh, May, like I said, Mayhem, he was he was hot last night. He was all over it, leading the room most of the time. And so we kind of did our part and, uh, you know, ran support. Um, and I think there was a couple of matches towards the end where I did my part as the bullet magnet. So, <laughs> you know, and, and sometimes it works, and, and that's what I like. Um, and that's the type of gameplay I like, where you get on and, and you do things as a team. Like, later on we played on, and I got a buddy named uh, Ares, who's uh, an excellent sniper. And uh, that's a niche that when we get you know a good aggressor we get a good sniper we get you know different guys on the team it makes for a balanced team and you know if you're out there for the team win then you know it, it does well um if you get six guys that all want to be the top dog then uh you know you're gonna have some issues but uh in this one like i said it was a lot of fun there goes the emp so there's going to be no more enemy UAVs, counter-strikes, uh, air attacks from here on in. And there you go. Uh, so it wound up, uh, we were kicking some butt last night. It was pretty good. Uh, like I said, hat off to uh, Mayhem, Pseudo Slick, and his wife, Sticky Melons. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. All right? Have a good one. Peace.